Regardless, if it's in a bottle or a can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews. Well, it's another episode of BC's Beer Reviews with your boy BC. Now, uh, <laughs> this video didn't go as well as I expected it to go. Uh, I just ended up getting a new, uh, the theme song that I typically sing. Now, uh, I had that recorded and, uh, sent to me so I could use it in this video. But through technical difficulties, I wasn't able to put it in to this video. Now, uh, hopefully by the next video, I'll figure it out and post it. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy my theme song. I don't mind th singing my theme song. But sometimes I get a little tired of singing it. So, but that doesn't mean that it's going to disappear off my channel or the show. So, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way where I can have it without actually technically singing it on the show. So, I'll try to work that out. Well, moving on, moving on. Well, this, uh, we're, it's, we're in September now. I believe it's the ninth. It's the first Wednesday after Labor Day. I know that. So, <clears throat> anyways, that shouldn't distract from what I'm reviewing today. And uh, <laughs> hopefully some of the youpers in the Upper Peninsula are watching this one because uh, I got one. <laughs> this is, I don't know, it depends on your viewpoint. This one so far in the Upper Peninsula. Man, I haven't been this far into the Upper Peninsula. But, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain it when I show you the beer. Today's beer, I've got Deer Camp by Upper Hand Brewing. That's right. This one, uh, I've never heard of this one till now. I went to the store yesterday to peg out some beers for the show. I seen this and I was like, you know what, this looks interesting to do. And <coughs> <coughs> there are a lot of people in Michigan that actually do a lot of deer hunting. So this one actually makes sense. And I'm not entirely sure when uh, deer hunting season starts, but it's between now and November, somewhere in there. I'm sure the hunters or whatever will probably leave comments in the section below, which is fine. I mean, I'm not much of a hunter, but I do support our right to bear arms. But as long as it's done in a legal way. Anyways, uh, this is an amber lager. This is coming at you with a 4.7 ABV, uh, zero IBU, and with it being a lager, the bitterness unit is going to be low, probably no more than 20 on here, more than likely. And these guys are out of Escanaba, Michigan. Yeah, now, Michigan is about, is about here, okay, so, you got Michigan, the main Michigan, and then you got the Upper Peninsula, which it would be about here, it's close to Wisconsin, so, uh, yeah, and they even give coordinates on here of where it's at, where it's uh, four, five, point seven one seven two north and south seven or yeah s seven point zero nine eight one w so them are the coordinates where they grew at i guess uh now this is kind of cool you've got that 
Halloween theme coat is going on with the orange and black. Got some antlers, a couple of rifles, some bow and arrows. Uh, and it looks like it's outside. And let's see here, brewed and canned by Upper Hand Brewing, Escanaba, Michigan, a division of Bell's Brewery Incorporated. Oh, wow. Uh, this is a uh, owned by Bell's Beers. Wow. Okay. And this shelf life is good for six months. Now, this was uh, packaged on 7 21 22. So we're probably about a month and a half. This is probably about a month and a half old, roughly, which is awesome. I was kind of worried about that myself. So, <clears throat> well, let's do Let's see what this bad boy looks like, shall we? Crack those beer can. Oh, this looks nice so far. Looks like a somewhere between medium to uh, I'd say a high carbonation rate on here on this beer. I'm getting about almost three fingers worth of head on here. Head, I'd say a vanilla white color. Yep, smells like a lager. Yep, and I'm getting that floral aroma. Boy. I swear, it's a, it's a nice break from an IPA. I swear to God, it's a nice break from an IPA. <laughs> that smells good. I do love a good lager. So, uh, color. It's a uh, orangey like color, as you guys can see. Yep. Uh, okay, now the car, yeah, it looks good all the way around. Dark orange color, amber light. <sighs> Can't get enough of that smell, really. Yeah, and like when I started reading about this, it was kind of interesting. They really don't give much. I really didn't look at the website, but from what I've seen on Untapped, they make several beers. So hopefully, I can get a hold of some of these beers. So that's the problem with some of these like breweries you know, from my end of it that are up in the Upper Peninsula. A lot of them don't have distribution down this far by Detroit, so it's kind of hard to get. It's kind of like a lot of them breweries up there. A lot of them don't have the distribution to make it all the way down here. They're kind of like local to sell to the local area. So, and maybe some of them are so small where you've got to get a, uh, what is that, a growler. So, yeah, yeah, well, it looks good, smells good. Uh, the head's kind of like a vanilla, like, color. I'm sorry, but that smell smells so good. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had a lager. I don't know if it's a jibber jibber. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. It's nice. It's nice. That's the funniest thing. It's an amber lager. It, it's really full body. It slightly reminds me of a, like a, 
Modelo a little bit. It reminds me of Modelo a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, that's one thing I don't like about this glass. It's a huge glass. Normally I have two beers on the show. Today I've got three. Because of the glass. It's so big. See what I mean? <laughs> glass is so big. By the time the head fills, I still need to fill it up with the next glass or next can. Yeah, see the glass is so big. Once the head dissipates, I'm still gonna have room. So, yeah, it looks good. It really looks good. Head and all. So, yeah, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. You know, if I had to give this one a grape, you could actually taste the... Uh, Yeah, the taste of it. Taste of it. Yeah. Is it better? Nah. It's uh not even mild. It's like somewhere between medium and low as far as the bitterness unit goes. And the taste, like I said, is, it slightly reminds me of Modelo. A little bit, maybe the Niagara. There is a sweetness to it, there is. But it's not like your typical sweetness where they, it seems like they use a brewer's solution, if you know what I mean. And for those that watch my show long enough, you know what a brewer's solution is. So, um, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm sure this one will probably go good with barbecue, <laughs> gamey meals, uh, maybe even Mexican food. So, yeah. So, if I had to give this one a grade, I would have to give this a. Yeah. Okay, 8.75. I've always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll check you out next time here on the next BC's Beer Reviews. BC's going to drink some beers. So take a seat, baby, have no fear. He will certainly bring the cheer. So sit down and don't move that rear beer. He's gonna review some beans.